a huge loss on this holiday weekend in Harrison Township where a firefighter has died after being injured on the job. Lieutenant Andrew Russell died yesterday. Everybody knew him as Moose. Nick Monticelli reports he wouldn't let you call him by anything else. Good evening. I never had the pleasure of meeting Moose. That's what he had to be called. He wanted to be called here in Harrison Township, but every single person I've talked to, especially those inside of his fire station, say he was a phenomenal friend, a great person, and a guy they will miss more than anything. The best dad that there possibly could be in the world, and that, I don't know, we just never thought that anything like this would ever happen to our family. Surrounded by friends, family, and their firefighting family, Clara Russell says she was probably one of the few who didn't call her husband Moose. Inside Station 1 in Harrison Township, Lieutenant Andrew Moose Russell's gear sits untouched, as it will for a while to come. He was pretty much the, the brother I never had. We could talk about anything. We could laugh. We could joke. We could cry. Sergeant Fred Darga was as close to Moose as anyone here. Early this year, while on a medical call, Moose fell on ice and damaged his shoulder so severely it needed to be replaced. That surgery finally happened last week, but while home recovering, he started feeling ill. His friends think a blood clot killed him. Moose was a larger than life type of person. He always had a smile on his face and deeply cared about everyone he met. He carried around a, a pen and paper all the time in the notebook. And if he, when you would meet him, he'd pull out the notebook, and write your name down in case he, he ever saw you again or met you again or whatever he wanted to remember about you. Yeah, it's his famous uh, blueberry. So it was, we named it way back in the day when everybody had a blackberry. So that was his blueberry. The lieutenant also leaves behind three children ages 11 to 14, teaching them the way he lived his life. Everything was right for wrong. So you just do good to people, karma, I guess, if you talk that way. I just, that was his thing. Oh, sounds like he was a good friend. That was Nick Monticelli reporting. The lieutenant would have been 49 years old tomorrow on the 4th of July.